All right, what's the deal with y'all, man? I told y'all, back with another one. Anyway, got another video that's uploading right now as we speak. Got another video uploading right now as we speak. First off, I'd like to thank everybody for taking the time <clears throat> taking the time to watch this video and probably all my videos. Make sure you watch all my videos all the way through, please. I really do appreciate that. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, turn on your notifications. Everybody, make sure your notifications turned on. Y'all know me already. I know how the way I roll. I drop multiple videos a day. Like I don't play. I go hard and it's just non-stop putting in work. Y'all already know the deal. Um anyway, happy holidays to everybody, by the way, as a matter of fact, man. For real. And um also, everybody out here right now, please chin up, chest out, man. Keep your head up. Everything gonna be alright. Uh, it's about to be some crazy times right now. Man, I hope this Christmas goes well for everybody out here. To all the individuals that do celebrate Christmas. But anyway. If y'all see the title of the video, y'all know what I'm about to get into it right now. You know, I'm about to speak some real shit right now because I just had enough. Uh, for an example, I spoke about in my previous video about the rapper Casanova. And this is the shit that I'm talking about. These bad examples for these young men and these young up-and-coming females out here. In the younger generation, these bad examples out here. I'm telling you, especially in the black community, bro. It is just jacked up. And it's just sad. Look here. I said, it before, I said it before, I said it once. I don't judge nobody how they get their money. How you get your money is how you get your money. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do to take care of your responsibilities and whatever it is. Okay? What I don't agree with is, is when you come up on some quick-ass feria, is going out here, buying jewelry, expensive clothes, expensive-ass vehicles that you probably can't afford to maintain. Especially on BMWs and on Mercedes that I be seeing these young black dudes swerving around and around here, especially over here in Long Beach. I'm telling you this right now. Probably can probably can't afford to maintain the damn thing. I don't get it. And then you ride around with no tags and no registration, no insurance. That makes you cool. Now I ain't perfect myself. For a cool ass man, I did not have no car insurance because of my driving record and everything. But some of these brothers out here, they're young as fuck, ain't got nothing on their record. No excuse. And they getting money out here. Then want to be stupid too. Then want to go back flossing in the flossing in the hood, showing off what the fuck they got. Me personally, and just how the way I am, or is it just maybe because I ran with the other side or whatever the case may be? I ain't with that shit. I ain't stupid. It's why you see. It's why you guys see me ride in the cars that I ride in. I don't need all that shit. I don't need it. I don't need the extra headache. I don't need all that bullshit, man. I hate being at the mechanic shop, man. Unless I gotta get some maintenance done. Other than that, I don't like cars breaking down because whew, instead of having money coming in, money going money going out, I'm like, fuck that. Nah. But it's just me, man. Um we need more better examples out here in the black community, man. That's one thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is with these rappers out here today promoting this agenda of basically saying it's okay to go out here and hit licks go out here to stand on the corner serving and doing dumb shit out here i don't know what it is with this agenda that they pushing then you got the female side agenda the female side agenda is basically saying it's okay it's okay to go out here and give up the pussy to everybody and their damn everybody everybody and and all these damn johns out here i don't know what it is with this agenda right now man i'm telling you i don't know what it is with this agenda right now uh, to all the real black individuals out here, the real black folks out here, they probably can agree where I'm coming from about this. Black folks, we need to get it together out here. We need to get it together. You know, enough with this bullshit out here that whatever you do wrong is right and whatever you do right is wrong. Because let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I spoke about this before, I'm telling you. And I'm going to keep speaking about this. Hopefully, my, hopefully this shit gets out there. Look here. Nobody wants to congratulate the black, the black, the black man or black woman that's going to college to go get a college education. Nobody wants to. Oh shit, my bad, y'all. <laughs> Nobody wants to congratulate the black man or the black woman that's starting a business or that that's got something going on business wise. Um. Oh, but they surely want to congratulate you when you slaving it on a nine to five, six days a week, no life. No freedom, no happiness. They want to congratulate. They want to congratulate you with that. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Oh, and then, and then, 
when somebody goes to jail, I, and I see this a lot, and this, I believe this is for all communities, God, leave. What is it when somebody go to jail, you see everybody on social media, you see everybody, oh, free him, free him, free him, free him, free him. And then when they get out, then when they get out of jail, it's a, it's a big ass party and everything. But when somebody graduates from getting a, receiving a college education and moving on to their next chapter in life, Nobody's not throwing a big party for that. There's nobody there's there's nobody congratulating that individual that's getting a college education. Because I'm gonna say it like this. When when they're not congratulating you, they're hating on you. And I'm telling you this right now. They're hating on you. Youngsters, if y'all are watching this video. Stop looking up to these damn rappers because at the end of the damn day, I'm gonna say it like this: as soon as they get some, they get some of that good chunk of that money in their pocket, they gone. They gone. They gone. They ain't giving a fuck about you. They ain't giving a fuck if you go if you catch a case, uh, catch a case, catching a body, hitting the lick, slinging them high power drugs on the street. They ain't giving a fuck about that. They ain't paying your bill. They ain't paying. They ain't paying to get you, get your ass bailed out, or to send you a lawyer, or to get you some legal help to get you out of jail. So I'm looking up to these rappers, man. Do better than this. Be better than these damn rappers. They promote. They pushing this agenda. They pushing this stupid ass agenda that it's okay to to do wrong out here and to do the wrong thing out here. No, it's okay to go out here and do the right thing. It's okay. You're gonna be way better than these idiots out here that's being stupid out here. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I'm glad I got the platform now to speak up to speak out about this. I'm tired of it, my damn self. I'm tired of it, my damn self. Cause why I grew up in an era where we used to use these. We used to use these. I got stories about this. As a matter of fact, on the next video, we used to use these. And if you get beat the fuck up, you get back up. You get back up, go catch them again. Now, you give somebody a good one of these, uh, a good good set of these, and you whoop their ass. Let me tell you something. They gonna go, they gonna go pick up a gun and come come smoke your ass. I don't know what it is with this new with this new generation that can't fight for a worth of shit. And when they do be trying to fight, I, I be seeing videos about this. When they do be trying to fight, when they do be trying to fight, they look like a bunch of women and look like a bunch of cheerleaders all like this and everything. Come on. The hell's really going on? The hell's really going on? Get it, get it together, y'all. Get it together. Please get it together. And this is why the black community is really falling apart. I'm telling you this right now. The black community is really falling apart. And it's sad. And it's sad, man. Young homies out here. Black, brown, white, wherever you may be. Stop looking up to these damn rappers out here. That shit ain't what what they try to promote and push push out here, it ain't cool. Do the right thing. Be smart. Don't be a retard. Don't be Don't learn the hard way. Trust me. Try to go down the right try to go down the right path. Try to, like I said, I don't discriminate nobody how to get their money. It is what it is. Y'all have a great afternoon. Y'all stay safe out here and uh, keep your head up, chin up, chest out. All smiles, no frowns. I'm out.